A powerful new documentary hits select theaters in New York and Los Angeles today. Who We Are, A Chronicle of Racism in America is a film by criminal defense civil rights lawyer Jeffrey Robinson. He draws a stark timeline of anti-black racism in the United States from slavery to the modern myth of a post-racial America. Here's a sneak peek. Take a listen. Essentially a three-hour presentation because in 2011, because of some family circumstances, I started reading about the history of anti-black racism in America. And despite having one of the best educations in America, I found stuff I had never heard before. And after getting angry at myself and my teachers, I started wondering how many other people don't know this because it was never taught to me or anybody that I knew. And I met Sarah and Emily Kunstler, who are brilliant filmmakers, and they saw my presentation and said, let's make it a film. And that's what we did. You say you were learning things, even as someone so educated that you'd never heard before. And I think we're all realizing that and how the history of racism has been taught to us and how much there is still to learn. Um, was there anything that stood out to you that really just blew your mind? I think the two things that were uh, most significant to me were how blatantly and directly the founders of our country discussed the institution of slavery and how it was going to be protected when the Constitution was written. And then I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, so I was always taught the myth about the Civil War and it wasn't really about slavery that was involved, but it was other things. If you go to the secession statements of the states that left the Union during the Civil War, they are the most racist, white supremacist documents you have ever seen. So despite the myth that is taught around America, the truth is something very, very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're all, you know, looking at it with a new critical eye, I think, in this day and age. In the film, you say 50 years later, America is having to look at the issue of race dead in the eye, and we're at a tipping point. What do you think will eventually set us off? I don't know if uh, <clears throat> I can tell you that, but what I can tell you is that in a country who has a 400-year history, tipping points don't last for a minute or a day or a year. They're a decade, maybe even longer. This film was, that, that presentation that's in the film was filmed on Juneteenth, 2018. We're still at a tipping point, and it is unclear which way we're going to go. And that's why it's important for people to have this information now so we can take our history into account as we decide on future courses. George Orwell said it best, who controls the past controls the future. That's extraordinary to me that this was filmed in 2018 because looking at that and the issues that you're addressing feels like it could have been filmed just last week. So uh, that's a new perspective that we feel like we're at this tipping point, boiling point, how long this feeling can last. Colonial days and the institution of slavery to constitutional America and the institution of slavery to 100 years practically of separate but equal to the criminal legal system and the problems there. It's very difficult to reach any different conclusion. But I'm a criminal defense lawyer. And I understand that really good people can do really bad things. And countries are just made up of people. And that's why countries can be great on the one hand and racist on the other. And the time has come for us to fix the second part of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're dimensional. There are layers to our country. It does shock me, though, that in this day and age, there are people, and I've known them personally, who will say that... Uh, that America is not racist, or I remember when then there was that discussion, is America a racist country, that people were so taken back that anyone would say, yes, we are. What was most shocking to you or surprising to you during your journey of researching and filming? I think I was surprised uh, day in and day out by the details that make up our history. And when you say people are, are shocked and they say, oh, of course we're not racist. Even the other day, President Biden was saying that's not who we are. And the title of this film is really, it's a statement and a question. And understanding that what we understand about ourselves is based on the history that we've been taught. 
And so based on the myth that, yeah, there was a problem in slavery, but then there was a civil rights movement and Martin Luther King pretty much solved everything and it's been a level playing field since then. If that's what you believe, and if that is the myth of our history, it's easy to understand why you would reject the notion that we're racist. But when you confront the truth, and I'm not talking about opinions, I'm talking about just facts. I think it brings us to a different place. This is not about blaming anybody. This is about a history that has been stolen from all of us, black people, white people, everybody that lives in America. This history was stolen from all of us, but it's hidden in plain sight. And part of the, the object of this film and the Who We Are project is to bring that history to everyone. Such an extraordinary perspective. I cannot wait to watch this. Thank you for who you are and what you're doing. Jeffrey, a pleasure to have you here on Start Your Day.